to welcome everyone to uh, lawschoolmoodle.com. Uh, this short video is just to show you how to navigate around Moodle. As we go through the courses, we'll be doing other little videos to give you information that you need to be successful in this online course. Okay, so uh, you need to log in. If you click on legal writing and analysis, uh, you will go to the login page because the first thing you need to do is to log in. You don't need to create an account because I've already done that for you. Uh, you need to use your user password, which is your first, uh, the initial of your first name plus your last name, everything in small caps, no space. And then you need to use the uh, password that I sent to you. If this is the first time that you've been to the website, you will be asked to change your login uh, password. Uh, we're going to go on and log in. Uh, I go uh, It automatically puts me into the course, uh, but you will probably go into a dashboard. This is the dashboard, and you see the legal writing and analysis and fall course and you click on that. So your page either looks like this full length page or your the the navigation tab on the left could be out. But I'm assuming that it starts looking like this. So there's several ways to navigate around Moodle. Um, the primary part of the course is in the middle block under perfect practice makes perfect. Each tab represents a tab of material and uh, information that you will need to do. Uh, this tab is the orientation tab, and inside the orientation tab, there are one, eight other tabs. Um, you will need to go through, one of the things we recommend is before you start doing anything on a tab, that you should just look through and get a sense of everything that needs to be done. In general, the next week's the tab uh, will open up for weeks for work in about two to three weeks before uh, the, the class. So uh, September the fourth uh, tab will show uh, in about another week. September the eleventh will show in about two or three weeks. Once a tab shows, it stays and it's available to you throughout the course. So, uh, so you see the middle section. Uh, course announcements is a permanent part. Only uh, Professor uh, Shaka Randall and myself can post to course announcements. We recommend that you look, that you sign on to the website at least once a day. And that you read all the course announcements. We know pe we know that some people get in the habit of not reading the announcements, and then when something uh, happens, um, you know, we say, "Well, it was in the announcements." So you really need to read the course announcements. Uh, there's no no one else can post in the course announcements. Um, the uh, it, if you have a question or comment related to the course, you put those in your question forum. Every week there will be a forum for you to put questions about substantive, that is what you're studying. So there'll be a weekly forum for you to be able to do that. Student questions re, uh, read course mechanic. If you mail us any question that is not personal to you, that is your grades or something related directly to you and only you, we are just going to ask you to post it to this forum. So just post it there to start off with. We, we try to keep up with this on a regular basis. We uh, check it uh, several times a day and we try to answer it. We encourage you all to answer each other. That is, if someone has posted a question and you know the answer to that question, answer it. Uh, if you are wrong, we will correct you. 
But don't hesitate on the idea, well, I might be wrong. Well, you might be right as well. And if you're right, you 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 help everybody. And if you're wrong, it's not going to do any harm because we are going to come and read everything. And if there's an answer that needs to be clarified and modified, we will do that. So post all questions about Moodle, all questions about the course, due dates, uh, how assignments ought to be done, when assignments ought to be done, any questions that is not related uh, to, that's related to the substance of the course, to the course mechanics, goes in here. Any questions about the substance that is, why do we use IRAC? Why do we? Why don't we use uh, some other form of structuring an answer? Those should go into the the form uh, question form, which we don't have one showing because uh, we do those on a weekly basis, so that uh, we can get new questions from you. No personal questions, please. Um, uh, and uh, and do not post affirmations, don't, because it just clogs up the reading for everyone. So you don't need to say, I'm having this problem too. If someone's posted a problem, whether it's a problem for one person or a hundred people, it's a problem that we're going to fix and we're going to, and we're not going to fix it any faster because more people are having it. We judge the nature of the problem. And then in fact, we try to fix problems as soon as we know about them. Um, and it's not a conversational uh, form. It's not intended for you to just have a conversation with uh, another person. We have a virtual forum where if you just want to have a conversation about anything, you can do that in the virtual forum. You click to add something here, click add a new discussion topic. Uh, when you get a, when you open that up, put in something Try to put in something that lets us know what the question is so that we can make a judgment without having to go in. So uh, do we have to turn this in by 2 p.m. today? So don't just put a few words. Put a full put a full thought of what it is you want to know then you type in your message whatever that is um you and you post a forum it'll show up there uh and see under discussion it's it'll show how many replies to it and it this list that says unread it shows uh, whether or not uh, I have read it or you have, you, it will show whether or not it's unread by yourself, okay? Not by other people. It shows whether or not you have read it. Now we have uh, the editing thing set at 15 minutes, meaning that uh, you have up to 15 minutes to, you can't delete something you post, but you have up to 15 minutes to go in and edit if you think about something that you want to add. So uh, the orient, so this first tab that you have is orientation tab. Uh, we want you to complete the things in here first. Uh, and then the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth is the screening test that is going to help us develop a more specific uh, learning plan for you. So we want those done next, and we need them done as soon as possible because we'd really like to get, the quicker you get those done, the quicker we can start working on a plan for you, and we can have a meeting with you to discuss the results. The last thing that you should start on uh, as a part of the orientation is the syllabus. So you here's the syllabus. The schedule of due days and times, the estimated time requirement, and a syllabus quiz. This quiz uh, goes, questions you on the content of our syllabus and things on whether or not you understand it and whether you have any questions related to it. It's required. You can retake it as often as you want, uh, so it is possible to earn 100 
on it. You just have to redo the quiz. Um, but it does close. And when it closes, uh, it, it doesn't open back up. So to your right uh, is a column, messages. If you want to send messages, uh, it'll show you if there's a message from me or from anyone in your class, it'll show up under here. You can click on messages, and go into uh, uh, the folder, and you can find some of these are former students that I have had, uh, not people in your class per se. Uh, and uh, you can find the person you want to send a message to. Uh, you can click on that person's name and uh, all of your messages from that person. And then you can go down to write and send uh, and you can send a message. This, this is a good time to talk about uh, this message is, is not is a part of the uh, Moodle overall and not a part of just the course. So when you go into messages, you actually take yourself out of the course. And so you will need to go back to the course. You can do that by clicking on the square in the left-hand corner and going down to My Courses and 2017 FSLWA is, all, is the course that you're in. So you click on that and it takes you back. You can close this uh, menu on the left by clicking on the square and the menu closes. Underneath messages, are the upcoming events. Uh, this just tells you to the extent, it's not an exhausted list, uh, but it tells you all of the major activities and their due dates. And when it, it sometimes it'll tell you when it's closed. For instance, the studying online for you uh, closes on Sunday the 27th at 11.30 p.m. Uh, and this is Eastern Standard Time, and everything is every all of the orientation stuff is set for seven eleven thirty p.m. We encourage you. This is not. Don't wait till Sunday night to do this. It, you will give us huge problems if you do. We need you to do this right now. It's open to eleven thirty p.m. to get people who are registering late. We really expect you to get it done within five days of getting the welcome letter, which means around the 21st. So you should be having it done around the 21st. If you scroll all the way down that list, you can go to the calendar. The calendar shows you uh, the things for a particular day. So I had went on the uh, this is for the 27th, shows you the events. If I go to a particular day, so let's go to sec, uh, September the 13th. So you can see here on September the 13th that you that there's a, uh, you have your lab, which is your 6.30 to 10 o'clock uh, class. We're calling it a lab. Uh, generally, you will just show up and uh, work on your different assignments. Uh, you, won't, you will not necessarily uh, uh, engage in any kind of lecture or classroom activity, although we will be using this for review after we give exams. Uh, you can put new events in by uh, and you can put it in something that's for you and only you. Uh, so if you want to remind yourself, this will not show up on anybody else's calendar. It just shows up on mine for September the 13th. So you can put in your own, you can use this calendar to calendar things that you need to do for yourself and and uh, any of your other courses if you don't have a calendar. Of course, you can just not, uh, that you can just usually give you notice about the legal writing course. So the calendar is another Moodle activity that is a part of the site. And so when you go to the calendar, 
you got to go back to the course. Uh, I showed you one way of going back to the course, which is to click over the menu on the left. But another way to go back to the course is to use the breadcrumb. Breadcrumb is that little line up at the top that has hashtags in it where you, uh, so dashboard, hashtag law school, Moodle, hashtag calendar. You can click on uh, a part and it will take you back. So this takes you back to the dashboard and from the dashboard, you can then click on uh, the course and go back into the course. And now we are back uh, in the course. And then you see the dashboard, uh, the legal writing and analysis, which is the full name of the course. Uh, People's College, if you clicked on People's College, it will show you uh, other things that are being offered or planned for People's College. Uh, and go back to the course. 2017 FSLWA is the name of the course, and complete last is where you are right now. And inside that is the list of things. You are responsible for everything that is posted on this website. So whether or not this is your notice to do it, so you need to click and complete and read every single thing that you see that's up here. Other resources are open to you for your use. And we put the Black's Law Dictionary in here because you need to, uh, you need to look up every term that you find. Uh, study guides and strategies, a torch summary, a contract summary, and then the student handbook. We all we believe it's always good to have readily available the student handbook. Okay. So that's the center of the, except for this, if you see this uh, wheel up in the right-hand corner, uh, it will take you to some other things. So one uh, course administrations, the only thing that's available is the question banks right now. This would also be where the grades would be when we open up the grade book. Uh, and we will be opening up the grade book. Then you will go to questions and uh, where you will have available certain questions uh, that are are available to you to use uh, in putting together and working. So the question bank is available. There's a, we are doing an assignment that requires you to make up questions and uh, this, we will use the question bank for that. Another way to get to the message menu is this little speak sign up here. If you toggle it, when you click on it, the messages come up and you can do a new message and you can mark all as red. Uh, so that's one another way to get to messages. Uh, this will let you know of any notices. Uh, the bell. You click on that and notices come up. So we need to go back to the course. So one other thing I need to show you is the other way to get around in the course, and that's the menu bar. So you click on the menu bar, and to the left, uh, you get uh, participants. So if you click on participants, you'll go to the participants that are in this course. You can see the city that they're from, uh, country, uh, when they were last on. Um, you can do all the participants. You can do just students or just professors. And if there are other roles, in fact, we may we have some. We're going to have some guests, uh, and if there's other roles, uh, you will see that. You click on grades to go to the grade book. Uh, this is the grade book, uh, and it we make this available as information. It is not an invitation to argue over your grades. 
okay? So, uh, it's so that you can keep track. We do a lot of work in this course that contributes to your grade, and we know that it can be difficult to keep track of what is done, what is not is done, what's not done, and what grade you received in it. This is the intent of making this available to you, uh, and we hope you use it in that spirit. If we get too many people who want to say they don't deserve a grade or they don't think the grade is right or want to argue over grades, we'll take the grade book down and just present it at the end of the semester. Okay, Use it for information only. We check it regularly. Uh, if there's a problem with Moodle, we definitely want to know if you think there's a problem with Moodle. Uh, but but many of the times, students are really just unhappy with a grade and want to know if they can get a what they can do to change the grade. And we will work with you. We definitely will work with you on how you can improve your skills. But it doesn't come from looking at individual grades. Improving skills look comes from looking at individual work and looking at your work as a whole and talking about what is problematic with your work as a whole and what kinds of things you can do to, to change uh, 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 your skill level. So we're happy to talk about what you can do to change your change your skill level. Um, so that grades, we generally don't give uh, overall grades uh, until the end of the semester. Mid, may we may do it midway the semester, and we won't do it till the end of the semester. And our uh, and we definitely do it towards the end of the semester. Overall grades are not final grades and shouldn't be taken as such. The only, the final grades are the ones reported by the register. So until you get a grade reported by the register, you have no final grade. Okay. Uh, you can get to every part of the course by clicking on. So if you click on Perfect Practice Makes Perfect, that'll take you to the middle of the course again. If you click on Orientation, It'll take you to the orientation tab. When we get more tabs in here, it will. You can go to uh, like sec the the week of September the fourth, or September the eleventh, or December the third. You can go to those weeks uh, through this column. Uh, you can get to the calendar here again. Uh, the calendar shows you everything that's due on a certain date. Uh, you can get, you can change the go month. You know, it's, it works like any uh, electronic calendar. You can have a place that you can put private files. If you want to store files that you want to use, uh, you can store them here. And and then finally, you can go back to the course, the main part of the course here. Okay. So this is an or uh, you get you have you can you know whatever you feel comfortable whether you feel comfortable working with the menu out like it is now or you close it and have more space on your screen. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, Moodle. Uh, please uh, post them on Moodle. Uh, we look forward to working with you and we look forward to meeting you and working.